everyone and guess what? I have these really super annoying neighbors that for some reason every weekend around pretty much at nine o'clock on the dot switch on their music and decide that they want to have a party which is great for them uh bad for me because what i do is i put my two little ones to bed i set up to film sit down get ready and then they start playing their really loud music across the road so i am going to, well i am hoping that a lot of the music that they're playing won't come across in today's video but that's what I have to deal with today, so wish me luck. I'm actually part of a Facebook group called Jeffree Star Cosmetics. It's like a fan page for, I guess, everything Jeffree Star Cosmetics. And someone started a thread not too long ago talking about the star mirrors that Jeffrey sells through his website and how they found a photo of one that had like a whole lot of bling on it. So I thought that's an incredible idea. I'm going to jump online, find myself one of these mirrors and bling it out myself and show you guys how you can do it at home. So of course today's video wouldn't be complete without using a few Jeffree Star cosmetic products on my look today. Today I decided to wear blood sugar for my eyes. I have Anna Nicole from his Velour Liquid Lips collection. And of course I have Money Honey on my cheeks and also over the Anna Nicole. Uh, incredibly blinding Supreme Frost. I have a few of them and I am sort of kicking myself out in by all of them. But I'm going to go ahead and open the box. I ordered these from Beautylish who sell a lot of the Jeffree Star cosmetics. They have it packaged really, really beautifully. Uh, the paper is a whole bunch of Jeffrey's tattoos and I'm just going to open it up and see what everything looks like. Okay, so I have something in here which I assume is probably a bag considering I only bought two things. Okay, so uh, this is, I actually thought what the bag looked like because I didn't buy this for the bag. I just had to buy it in a kit because that's the only way I could get a black mirror. Um, so I probably forgot what color the bag even was. Oh, obviously because <gasps> it's this really, really awesome holographic black charcoal sort of bag. Like, hello? I am doing more than okay right now. Thanks for asking. Okay, so uh, that box is completely empty. And this is the box that the big star mirrors come in. And let's face it, I'm just gonna throw this box away. I don't know if you all keep the boxes. Is that the thing? Do you all keep the boxes? Am I supposed to keep the boxes? And when you open the box, this is what you get. It's so pretty. So there we go. Uh, a lot heavier than I expected it to be, really. I was expecting it to feel like really cheap plastic. Not that I was expecting <laughs> him to sell cheap plastic. But I don't know. It just feels a lot better quality than I thought it would, which is a good thing. I don't know if that came off as a complaint or not. Okay, so the purpose of today's video is I will be blinging the J and the star on the actual mirror. I mean, the mirror itself is gorgeous enough. I thought, let's go a little bit extra and bling it out. And of course, I would never dare to use anything but genuine Swarovski crystals on a Jeffree Star product. I don't use any cheap 
or replica rhinestones in my nail salon so I'm definitely going to use the real deal on the mirror and this is what I will be using today so I actually bought a full factory pack of 1400 crystals I will definitely not need that many but I didn't know how many I would need so I just bought myself a pack if you're in America I am not too sure where you can purchase Swarovski crystals because I am in Australia but if you are in Australia I actually sell these through my website and you can pick these up on emersoncrystals.com either the entire factory packs themselves or in lots of 50. One other thing that you will need is a rhinestone pickup tool again you can pick these up at emersoncrystals.com um, they're just like a crystal artifact pickup tool you can get katanas you can get wax pencils I find that the actual wax pencils leave like a little white residue on your crystals which you can wipe up with acetone anyway but I do like the way these feel and look so I'll be using these today and also I went and bought I had no idea what glue to use so <laughs> I went and bought some Loctite super glue um, I tend to stay away from using any types of glue products with crystals. I only use hard gels when using Swarovski crystals on my nail clients and that's because you have a little bit more playtime with the gel, you get to push your crystals into the gel and it won't set and harden until you put it into your LED lamp. Whereas with glues, once your crystal hits the glue, most of the time it sets instantly. So you need to be very, very, very careful on placement. So I am going to work a lot slower in today's video. I will probably end up speeding it up, um, but let's flip you guys around and I will show you the process. Okay guys, this mirror is really, really pretty and I'm really scared I'm gonna wreck it. So. <laughs> Please wish me luck before I start. Uh, but let's be honest, I will probably put a photo of the finished product in the thumbnail of this video. So you probably know before I do if this is going to work out. I didn't think that through. All right, so I have opened the pack of crystals. And this is what they look like. Let's get our glue ready. Obviously I'm incredibly prepared. I prep everything beforehand. <laughs> okay, one thing I do have is this crystal sorting tray. So I'm going to scoop up a bunch of crystals, put them in the tray and then give them a shake. And you can see what this does is it flips all your crystals. Making them super easy to pick up with your pickup tool. So they're ready to go for now. Oh, Alright. By the way, the crystals that I am using are the size SS12 in the ABs. I can do this. All right. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. Glue in one hand, tool with crystal on the end, on the other hand. And I'm just going to drop the teeniest, tiniest. Use very minimal glue. I'm talking like pinhead amount. Because as soon as, literally as soon as my crystal is touching this glue, it's stuck fast. I don't even need to really squeeze the nozzle on this. I'm just like tapping it on.
<sighs> All right, let's keep going. Okay, so I've done one of the J's. I still haven't decided whether or not I'll pop some smaller size crystals in these gaps here, but for now I'm going to leave it as it is. I'll show you what, well, so here is what one side looks like. And that side only took me about, uh, maybe 20 minutes i don't know all right <laughs> starting on the other side now wish me luck We are officially done. I'm just putting away a couple of the loose crystals that have landed in the little shag rug that I've got down as a backdrop. But <laughs> all in all, I think it took me, I don't know, 40 to 50 minutes altogether to attach every single one. Now, the really really important thing to remember with attaching crystals to something like this especially when you are using genuine crystals with a glue is you work incredibly slowly do not rush don't put down like a whole strip of glue thinking that you can really quickly just attach all the little crystals and everything's going to be great um because what happens and it, it has happened to a couple of the crystals here um, but what I've done is brushed them with a tiny, tiny bit of cuticle oil. Um, usually when this happens, I just put like a little bit of top coat on the crystals, but I don't want to put any top coat on the mirror. So I've just put like a little bit of oil on a couple of the crystals that were showing up really, really white because what super glue will do as soon as it touches the surface of a crystal, it will sort of matte the whole thing and make it go really chalky white which is what we definitely do not want when it comes to working with crystals like this especially if we want the effect that we are going for so i did pop a little bit more glue on this one which is having a little bit of trouble setting i feel like we're gonna have to just deal with that now all right so here is our final product obviously out of focus because I really really like the way glitters and crystals look when they're not entirely in focus because let's just let's just take a minute to appreciate how cool this looks all right if I had to estimate how many I did use I would say ooh, roughly 500 individually 
glued crystals, which isn't too bad. It doesn't really look like 500, so maybe between, I don't know, 450 to 500, somewhere around there. Uh, if you can be bothered counting every single one, go ahead. I'm definitely not going to do it. But if you ask me, in my opinion, if it was worth spending the last hour blinging out the Jeffree Star mirror, yes, yes, I definitely recommend for you to bling out your mirror. And I really like the way the AB crystals actually look on these. I, I mean, you can use literally any crystal you want. Uh, Swarovski has a really, really big range of crystals that you can use. So almost every shade of red, green, blue, purple. Uh, but I like to use the ABs. They're a little bit more versatile. They suit almost every color out there. Um, otherwise, you can just go for like a crystal clear, but you don't really get the effect that the ABs give. So let me know what you think of this video. If you do decide to bling out your own Jeffree Star mirror, uh, make sure you tag me on Instagram. My Instagram is at Emerson Nails. I would love to see all your recreations. If you decide that you do want to try it for yourself, let me know what you may possibly want me to bling out next. I am literally swimming in Swarovski crystals here. So please give this video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel if you want to see more beauty nail related content i promise that the next few videos will be nail related i have a few nail tutorials lined up but i did see this online i thought it was a really cool idea and thought i definitely have to give this a go first thanks for watching guys i will see you all in the next video Bye bye. bye.